everyone. I'm in just entering Deadwood, South Dakota. Back on my quest for 50 miles after the age of 50 in all 50 states. Today it will be South Dakota, George Mickelson Trail, which I heard is amazing. Um, I'll be starting in Deadwood, South Dakota, heading 25 miles south through the Black Hills and then returning. So usually I'm driving hundreds of miles to get here and I did that two days ago but uh, today to my destination um, lovely Laura my wife is doing the honors of taking me to the trailhead um, so I'm gonna just do a little video here of what uh, what I see throughout the day take lots of pictures and share it with you until then take off uh, again just one mile south of the dead you can see some of the hills it's beautiful out here and let's see we be headed in that direction kind of up the hill to start but I'd rather have it in the beginning than the end so I'll be headed down the hill on my way back again I'll keep you keep you updated Getting near the halfway point now as I'm entering the first uh, tunnel near Rochelle. Cool. Just imagine all the old trains or whatever was going up this hill back in the 1800s. Pretty amazing. Pretty cool. Here we go. seeing deer all over the place. I suppose when you're biking you don't really notice these things. But, uh, it's down the hill. I suppose you can't really tell it's down, but deer. Looks like it's got, it's got a friend up there. I saw one about 100 yards back too. So, fun. Alright. So I'm back from South Dakota and I just wanted to summarize my 50 mile bike ride there in the Black Hills. So uh, it was tough. It was the toughest ride yet. Um, especially uh, on the way back from Rochelle going towards Deadwood, there was 13 mile incline. It didn't stop, it didn't plateau off. It didn't go down and up. It was a slow grade up, which was a killer, especially in the uh, near 90 degree heat uh, without any shade. Um, so if you're not used to that type of climb, it's uh, it, it's tough. And I'm used to uh, the plain states here, Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota, etc. Um, but having said that, uh, it was beautiful, um, and a actually going. Uh, through the hills and accomplishing it was uh, was a great feat. Again, I'm a novice biker. I'm not uh, slim, as you probably can tell, and uh, 
you know, I bike a lot, but uh, um, I'm not gonna be in any uh, Tour de France's anytime soon. So, uh, it was uh, it was difficult. A um, um, couple interesting facts. Uh, I got to see a little wildlife. Um, a lot of e-bikes out there just zipping past me. Um, uh, I think they're uh, they're cool because it's people that probably uh, can't bike, uh, can't bike as well, can still do that type of activity. Um, I found a Samsung phone like five miles near the end of my my bike uh, when I was about to head down towards uh, Deadwood and uh, luckily enough my investigative skills took hold and uh, with the help of uh, my IT kids, teenage boys, um, we were able to locate someone in the phone and uh, reunite the phone with its owner so that was good news. Um, overall a good bike ride um, uh, well groomed. Uh, the other, the other hint I would say is um, when you're going down the hills, uh, you can pick up quite a bit of speed. And people that are not used to those gravel or uh, crushed sand, crushed rock type of paths, you'll find that um, uh, the rocks can move out from underneath your tires. So you really need to stay in control because you could easily wipe out. Um, if you're going too fast and you're not staying in control, that's just a, just a hint for those uh, that are used to um, paved paths. Overall, uh, what am I, eight down? I did Wyoming too during this trip and I'll do a, a little video of that later. Um, and uh, thanks for viewing and keep on biking.